Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be giving you a chat GPT pro demo and even better I'm going to be showing you how you can write an article or even a video script since I know there's a lot of demand for that. Let's begin right away. So I have a prompt I'm going to paste in. I have a few more but let's go one step at a time. I put write me an outline for a blog post called three reasons why online marketers should use webinars. Just the first thing that came to my mind. Keep in mind that this can be used for a blog post or article, something on your website, or even can be used for a video script. I'll show you how to do that either in the middle of this video or towards the end. So I'm going to click on the arrow button. And what I want to do is normally I cut this section out so you don't have to wait, but I'm going to show you how it creates content much quicker. I've talked about this previously. Sometimes you'll hit enter. And <laughs> I've had to wait like 30 seconds, sometimes more for it to finish, but it moves much more rapidly, which is always a good thing. So if uh, time isn't exactly on your side, you want to move quicker, that's going to be very helpful. So that's the third reason. So we should have the conclusion after. And if you'll notice, normally when I do outlines, it'll give us a reason, maybe one or two um, actual like bullet points here, but they give us a good amount. And that's something I've also noticed. I feel like it generates more content. So if that's like, I don't know if it's a hundred percent true, but just from my usage, it seems like that's been happening. So we have our intro. We have our reason number one. So they're a powerful lead gen tool. They allow for interactive, engaging content, and they can help establish authority and thought leadership. This is a nice, uh, well-written, well-created, I guess, uh, outline here. So I'm going to move to my uh, trusty little outline here. So we have our introduction. Write an introduction about, let's see, we want to do this and include talking about Let's do this. So these are the bullet points that we have here. And we have this. I'm going to do this. Write did an introduction for a blog post titled three reasons. Okay, we got that include talking about and we have our three bullet points. This is something I've mentioned before. Let me write this. You don't always have to use what they give you. And this is going to start creating immediately. So you can take off like the definition of webinars. Maybe you want to talk about something else. So that's really going to be up to you. So keep that in mind, just because you get something specific doesn't mean you have to use it. Okay, so we got a long paragraph here. Very cool. Talks about in today's digital age, it's becoming increasingly competitive and complex with a lot going on, so on and so forth. Webinars come in, which are live web based seminars. They can be automated too, right? So in this blog post, we'll explain three key reasons why online marketers should use webinars as a part of their marketing strategy, lead generation to establishing thought leadership. We'll cover how you can benefit from them and so on and so forth. So let's see. And the cool thing is we talked about lead generation is the first one. So the memory is very good with this. I've used a lot of AI tools before where they couldn't even remember what they just wrote and it was kind of bad. Okay. So for example, if I put something like, um, you know, write the next paragraph about, you know, webinars or a powerful lead generation tool. Sometimes if you don't put that, it'll just give you a completely different topic. The memory with this has been very good. So now we move on to the section. We have our paragraphs. So I put write a few paragraphs talking about and we're going to do our first reason. I'm just going to do the first reason. Okay. About why there we go. We have to delete some stuff. Webinars are a powerful lead generation tool include talking about let's put this right here. Delete that. No, I don't think you need to bullet point it. It's just something to, uh, you know, make it stand out. So write a few paragraphs talking about why webinars are a powerful lead generation tool, include talking about the three things we have here, explanation of webinars, discussion. I'm going to click on enter once again, so you can see how quickly it's going to get started. If you've ever used the free version before, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. So another big thing about the uh, pro version is that you don't have to wait around, especially when times are, um, they have a lot of traffic coming on. If you'll notice that in the free version up on top, it says like, there's so much traffic, you know, expect that a lot of times you can't even log in, which is kind of annoying. So I have not noticed that once. So that's also a benefit of that. But this is more of a demo. And we got a good amount of content here. I'm not going to read all this to you. But just kind of skimming through by hosting it on a topic, you can find your target audience with visual aids, demonstrate products, and so on and so forth, collect valuable lead information. Okay, registering for your webinar, you can get their name, email address, job title, whatever it is you want. Uh, and it comes from a campaign about an example with HubSpot. So pretty cool. So that's going to be that section. Like I said, if you wanted to do that, you can just keep utilizing that same aspect for each of the reasons. I'm going to quickly skip to the conclusion. Okay, write a conclusion for this blog post include talking about let's see. Here we go. I'm not going to even put the blog title name in there. So we can, you know, test the memory. 
So for this blog post, include talking about a recap of the three reasons, uh, call to action for readers to consider incorporating webinars into their marketing strategy. Let's change that a little. So call to action for readers to sign up for a webinar for a case study. Sure, just a case study where they can see how it works with a specific business. Okay, let's hit enter here. And once again, I'm just going to ramble on through just so you can see the speed that it creates the content for you. So I said, write a conclusion. I didn't say like write, you know, one or two or three paragraphs. So it's kind of just doing it on its own. When I did say write a few, like right here, we did get a few. We got a lot of uh, content there, which is good. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for a webinar case study, call to action down there. So in conclusion, it talks about what they discussed with high quality leads, engaging content and st establishing thought leadership in your industry. Great. So like I said, the memory is excellent. I don't know if there's any difference in the memory between the free and pro, but that's just something I wanted to bring up. You can always pause it in case you want to read all this yourself to get a good idea of the quality. You know, that's up to you, obviously very objective. But aside from that, I did talk about how we can actually turn this into a video script. So what we can do, I'm just going to copy this. This will be the last example just to kind of give you the final demo. So we have our article here. The only thing that you would need to do here is do the paragraph section for the third reason and the second reason. If you wanted to write more, you could stretch this out and talk about five reasons why webinars are helpful. Obviously, that's up to you. Anytime you write a paragraph, you can always say, hey, write more about this. But let's say we have a YouTube script. I put sure. <laughs> Did I just copy the wrong thing? I copied what Chad GPT wrote. So let's scroll up. There we go. Don't want that actually. We want right here. There we go. So write me an introduction for a YouTube video. Change that. Called. There we go. Three reasons why online marketers should use webinars. Include a hook in the beginning. My goodness, it is so hard to type when you have a mic in front of you. I swear I'm a better typer than that. But last one, last but not least, uh, that's what we have there. So if you want to turn this into a video script, you don't really need to say a whole lot different, right? Maybe you want to just trim it so it's not a very long video. You know, you just want to give them the three points, one, two, three, talk about it. But there's a very little difference between an article and a video. So in a video, you might say like, keep watching for more. In an article, you might say, keep reading for more, like big difference there. So talks about asking a question. Do you want to stand out? Look no further than webinar. So that's the immediate hook. Not bad overall, Like, because if you ask that to someone and they're having that effect where they're not being able to target their audience or they're not standing out, then webinars can certainly help them. And that's going to be the hook. So overall, that was a very kind of quick demo of the Chad GPT Pro. I will be doing some more videos when it comes to this, but I felt that doing some type of article outline that can be turned into a video script is going to cover a lot of topics and a lot of content that people are looking to utilize Chad GPT or just Chad GPT Pro for, especially for like me and you're into online marketing and business. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you got some value out of this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see in my next one.